cloud network. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Oracle Database Level G or on release 1 on Windows 7. Let, first of all, I will tell you what is Oracle Database. Oracle Database is a collection of data that is created as a unit. The purpose of this database is to store and retain uh, related information. The database server is the key to resolving the problems of information management. Uh, generally, we can say this large amount of data that we storage on server and the user can access easily and comfortable with that data. So whenever the users are creating lots of data, this give high performance with to that and here is also unauthorized access also is pro support and is recover also is supported. And the first Oracle database was designed for enterprise grip computing and then it was flexible for the to manage your cost effective information and application. And there is a large industrial use and modular storage and server also use. So where you can download this Oracle uh, Level G, I will show you. So just open the Google and type uh, Le Oracle Level G download. After clicking on the first link, you will be come on this page of Oracle website. And here is the Oracle Database Express Level G R2, which is the release one. And just before downloading, you need to accept this license agreement. After accepting license agreement, here is a uh, download method is showing for Linux support 64 bit you can download this one and for Windows 32 bit you can go ahead for this one Windows 64 bit you can download this one so I am going to download for this Windows 64 bit level G R1. so which I have already downloaded and I will show you where I have downloaded this two here is the go to which I have already downloaded this level R2 database and here approximately the size of both these are 2.6 GB here you can see this is the size will take download so before downloading uh, I will show you some instruction is there you know to have a minimum RAM 2 GB in your laptop desktop or server and you need to have swap at least 6 to 2 GB that should be have physically it should be okay with 16 GB and uh, disk space you need to have 10 GB and the disk space contains like it's temporary space 500 should be have and for C drive it should be 700 KB inverter it should have and for Oracle home it requires 4.8 GB for database or it create for it requires 5.1 GB for all total it's required 10.4 GB disk space and for system architecture it supports AMD 64 bit and uh, Intel 64 bit supported and this is a video resolution it should be have to 56 color screen resolution you can have a uh, 1024 and 7 into 786 minimum that is required minimum section is there before you need to install Oracle level G and I will show you how to install this Oracle level G first you need to extract the both this file uh, right click and go to extract it right here after clicking extract you can click ok if you click ok it will be extract here only itself if you want to change the location means you can change the location either you can select according to your track location then click on the second part of this uh, extract click on it and extract it, which both are already extracted here you can see this is the after extract it create only one folder called database folder just to when you open that that, that folder here is the uh, setup is there so we are going to install this setup so before uh, installation uh, one thing i will show you one more thing go to the control panel and go to the account users account settings click on that one uh, you need to click on user account when you click on user account here is the uh, change user account setting click on that one and scroll down to down so that it will uh, does not show any notif no notification during installation click on click on ok and if you have one more account means so just scroll down ok click on ok and then we will go for the setup now double click on here after clicking on double we need to you need to wait uh, checking the monitor must be configured to display at least 256 color is configured and after passing this uh, will come of level of steps coming so here you can see oracle database level g is loading the driver 
so here is showing uh, you need to provide your email address install the product initially manager easier if you have oracle supported email address or username if you have and uncheck this one uh, and click on next and then provide is showing you need to provide your email address do you want to remain uninformed or critical alerts issue when you are in configuration click yes and then move to your here is showing create and configure database and install the database software only we are going to select this one first and then we are going to click and this if you want desktop classic or server classic we are going to select server classic because we are installing 64 bit node that's why click on next and this single instance showing a uh, real instance click on next by default select typically or advanced just click on next here is your C uh, drive application oracle base here is going to install the administrator software installation means database home is one install in C drive if you have does not have any space in C drive means you can change by clicking on browse and change the location path so by default I have a space in C drive so I am do not I will not change so here is enterprise edition which is uh, 3.4 GB selected if you are from download standard means you can select standard I have selected enterprise only this is a Oracle database administrator and here you need to give a password so I am giving a password uh, just click on next so the admin password does not conform to the Oracle standard base do you want to wish continue yes and initially we are in seven step of ten so we are i am getting to some of the errors showing about the physical memory fail check swap fail everything is going to fail uh, just ignore all this one and click on next after ignoring this all those installation just click on to this uh, this summary is showing about the installation and here you can save this response file or click on finish so here it's progressing our installation file first to complete the database installation and progress and prepare is also succeed i am now copying the files and set up this will take some more time Now the database configuration has been completed. Uh, see this showing about database creation completed in the location of administrator or database tool or icon. And here database information is showing, showing uh, global database name is ORCL, system ID SID is ORCL, server parameter file name is this on location. And the database you can access, you want to control means this is a URL showing where we can access and this is the management dashboard is showing about this if you want to have management you can click on password management and check about this password management is showing about ok everything is set ok ok so just click on or scroll down little by little bit everything is showing right mark ok if you want to set the password you can click here and then you can set here like this password and give a confirm password like this what to set for this one means you can so this is the method of this one just click on ok uh, we are going to access this url from your our browser just copy this url and click on ok and here is your database file installation is the c application administrator has been component and for selecting this is the equations not accidentally should be deleted configuration file this is the location showing i will go into right click copy or control c copy and just minimize this one or else you can close this open your browser and share press here enter and showing about the connection and trust just click i understand the risky add exception and confirm the security exception and here is a coming with the username and the password now we are going to login here with the username and the password 
uh, by default the username will be the system or else you can have a like that this one also uh, so you can have a two user any user uh, whether sys you can type or whether you can type full name of system like that after typing this um, username just assign the password uh, during installation you have assigned the password so that password you need to enter here click on login and after login here you can see this is oracle and here is the pc showing name october date version showing level 0.20 showing about the cpu host showing, cpu host loading active session sql and it is a space summary diagnostic summary alerts something performance ability showing software support showing database setup is here is a reference to logout here is a logout is there and uh, we will go for the performance to check everything here is a performance the baseline system is system movie windows ability is showing here is the backup setting is there recover setting is there manage we want to schedule backup when you want to take a backup means you can keep the backup you want to perform when you want to recover which you can set set this one and here's the server you want to control the files you can have temporary groups that are files log migrate to asm means you can go have this is a resource man security if you want to create your users and profile settings here are everything is there see so this is our user which i have logged in by default this all are the users only username see account log it expire log it showing and here is the open is here is here uh, so if you want to search me you can search it and go back when you click preference here is the setup is there and if we click on setups it's showing about this uh our overview of setups administrator is showing how to monitor showing about the i think and here is your a uh, system sysman system is showing three other username is showing super administrator respiratory owner super administrator we have given the permission so after that we will go for the uh, here is the monitoring management system information for more click click on notification patch up monitoring templates is showing about this so these are the uh, installations of your oracle level g enterprise which manager level g r2 supported uh, to log out just click on this one log out and you have been log out here is it to log in once again means just click on login and yeah, enter the username password instead of my username you can enter uh, ip address also just click write https give a semicolon type 192.168.1.105 or semicolon so before entering the ip address you, you should check uh, what your system server or desktop laptop have ip address click uh, press win windows r cmd press enter and type ip config uh, to know the ip address of a system or server or laptop uh, this this one is the ip address 192.168.1.101 so we need to enter here the same ip address here only just go for 101 so after assign the ip address and give a port number 1158 this support number press enter uh, see here is showing about this understand the uh, untrust add exception confirm then here is your welcome screen showing we have already been uh, about this welcome to oracle with j2 is there and here is a lunch support is there so um, if you get any problem during the installation or if you have any problem means you can comment below to my video, my video. So this is the end of my uh, installation of Oracle Level G uh, R2. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to Articular.